everyone welcome thanks for tuning into the channel and in today's video blog we're actually going to be discussing the full life cycle of an online business now this is very congruent with what we were discussing a couple of days ago with uh, basics of online marketing we, we, we broke that article down into three steps this one's a little bit more extensive it adds another three steps to make it a total of six and it's a full cycle now all the details are in the article as usual but uh, what we wanted to do uh, for you today is just list them off uh, so that you are aware of what they are. And um, we talked about <clears throat> driving traffic and list building and relationship building in the original article. Now, as you very well know, you know, a business actually needs customers and, and sales and revenue in order to survive. Otherwise, it's not a, a viable business. But we know that it's not something that happens overnight and it's not something that you can just... Um, it's not something that's easy to do is what I'm trying to say so in addition to the three addition to the three previous steps that we discussed we then start adding value and we start introducing our actual products and services and then the final step of the cycle are going to be the actual sales now obviously as business owners this is what we rely on to to survive and for our business to actually thrive but a lot of business owners do make the mistake of putting that at the forefront and making it the primary objective and just here's my products here's my services uh you know buy from me now or you know sell 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 that's the mentality that a lot of people have and um, consumers these days are conditioned to automatically resist that and people like to shop around and they don't like to be forced into buying anything as a matter of fact so that's where the cycle come, puts that into perspective for us as um, people that provide services or products. We need to understand how consumers think. And um, the this, this cycle in the article is, is explained in a little bit more detail so that you can put into perspective how you should be presenting or how you should be getting to that fifth and sixth step where you're able to uh, introduce your products and do more of soft selling instead of hard selling and then start commanding loyalty from customers by providing them a lot of value. And uh, so feel free to read the article. It'll explain in much more detail how you can leverage these six steps of the cycle, um, primarily in online business, but it, these are principles in marketing that apply also to small businesses offline. So you're welcome to check that out. Thank you as always for visiting us today and we'll see you next time.